Ever wondered how small daily actions can lead to monumental success? It's a question that has fascinated great minds through the ages, from Aristotle to Einstein, and the answer is surprisingly simple. Habits. Habits, those repeated actions that we perform almost unconsciously, have a profound impact on our lives. They shape our days and in turn, they shape us. But their true power lies not just in their ability to shape our present, but their potential to determine our future. Think of habits as the cogs and gears in the complex machinery of life. Each one may seem insignificant on its own, but together they drive us forward, shaping our path. And just as a well-oiled machine runs smoothly, a life filled with positive habits operates with efficiency and purpose. But what exactly is a habit? At its core, a habit is an automatic behavior, a response to a specific cue or trigger. It's the cup of coffee you reach for each morning, the route you take to work, the way you brush your teeth. These actions performed daily become so ingrained in our routines that we often carry them out without even thinking. The beauty of habits is that they can be harnessed for personal growth. By consciously cultivating positive habits, we can steer the course of our lives towards success. It's like setting a course for a ship. Once the course is set, the ship sails smoothly towards its destination, powered by the force of habit. Consider the words of Will Durant, summarizing the thoughts of Aristotle. We are what we repeatedly do. Excellence, then, is not an act, but a habit. These words encapsulate the transformative power of habits. They remind us that success is not a single event, but the result of consistent, repeated actions. So the next time you find yourself performing a mundane daily task, remember, each action, each habit, is a step on the journey to success. The key to success lies in the habits we cultivate. So what are these life-changing habits? Imagine starting your day when the world is still quiet and peaceful. Picture this. The soft light of dawn is just beginning to peek through your window. The birds are just starting their morning chorus, and the hustle and bustle of the world has yet to begin. This time, my friends, is a gift. A gift of tranquility, a gift of serenity, a gift of time. Time that you can claim as your own, to use as you see fit. Now, you might be thinking, but I'm not a morning person or I need my sleep. Well, let's shed some light on this, shall we? Waking up early does not mean sacrificing your sleep. It means adjusting your routine so that you go to bed a little earlier and rise with the sun. It's about realigning your schedule with the natural rhythm of the day. This practice, this habit of waking up early, it provides you with extra time. Time that you can dedicate to productive activities that might otherwise be squeezed out of your day. Think about it. How often do you find time to read a book, to exercise, or to simply sit and plan your day? When you wake up early, you create this time. You create the opportunity to nurture your mind, your body, and your spirit before the demands of the day start knocking on your door. Now, don't just take my word for it. Consider the wisdom of one of history's great thinkers, Benjamin Franklin. He once said, early to bed and early to rise makes a man healthy, wealthy, and wise. Franklin understood the value of the morning, the potential that it holds. He knew that by embracing the early hours, he could cultivate habits that would contribute to his overall success. And you can do the same. You can choose to harness the power of the morning, to embrace this time of peace and quiet, and use it to fuel your journey towards success. So tomorrow, rise with the sun and embrace the morning. What if I told you that you could explore different worlds without leaving your room? Yes, it's possible. And the passport to these worlds is the simple yet magical habit of daily reading. Imagine yourself embarking on a journey through time, space, and infinite possibilities, all while curled up in your favorite chair. That's the magic of reading. It's like having a conversation with the greatest minds, living or dead, right in the comfort of your own home. Let's take a look at Elon Musk, a pioneer in the world of technology and space exploration. He attributes a lot of his success to his extensive reading habit. As a child, Musk was often found with a book in his hand, soaking up knowledge like a sponge. He didn't just read for pleasure though, he read to learn, to understand, to challenge his beliefs, and to stimulate his mind. Reading is not just about absorbing information, it's about broadening our perspective. 
It allows us to see things from different angles, to empathize with different characters, and to understand different cultures and societies. It's like being a chameleon, changing colors with every page you turn. Moreover, reading improves our vocabulary. Words are the building blocks of communication. And the more words we know, the better we can express our thoughts and ideas. It's like sharpening our tools before going to work. The sharper the tool, the better the result. But the magic of reading doesn't stop there. It also stimulates our creativity. When we read, we visualize the scenes, the characters, and the events in our minds. We become co-creators of the story, adding our own colors, sounds, and emotions to it. This process of visualization enhances our imagination and boosts our creative thinking skills. So, here's the secret to exploring different worlds, broadening your perspective, improving your vocabulary, and stimulating your creativity. It's as simple as picking up a book and immersing yourself in its pages. You don't need a magic wand, you just need the magic of reading. So pick up a book and let it transport you to a world of knowledge and inspiration. Have you ever noticed how good it feels when someone truly listens to you? That's the power of active listening, a habit that's as transformative as it is simple. Let's dive into the intricacies of this habit. Active listening is more than just keeping quiet while the other person talks. It's about fully engaging with their thoughts, ideas, and feelings. It's about showing empathy, seeking clarity, and providing feedback. It's about being truly present in the conversation, not just physically, but mentally and emotionally as well. What makes active listening so powerful? For starters, it fosters better relationships. When you actively listen, you're sending a message. You're saying, I value your thoughts. I respect your perspective. I care about what you're saying. This can significantly strengthen your bond with the speaker, whether it's a friend, a family member, a colleague, or even a stranger. Active listening also enhances understanding. It's easy to miss important details when you're just waiting for your turn to speak. But when you listen with the intent to understand, you can grasp the speaker's message in its entirety, including the subtle nuances and underlying emotions. This can lead to more meaningful discussions and better problem solving. Stephen Covey, the author of The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, once remarked, most people do not listen with the intent to understand. They listen with the intent to reply. This is a profound insight into the common pitfalls of communication. When we shift our focus from replying to understanding, we not only learn more, but we also encourage mutual respect and open-mindedness. Active listening is indeed an art, one that requires practice and patience. But the rewards are well worth the effort. It's a habit that can change your life, one conversation at a time. So next time, when someone speaks, listen not just to respond, but to understand. Because in the symphony of life, each voice has its unique melody, and by actively listening, you'll be able to appreciate them all. What if the answers you've been seeking are already within you? This is not a mere philosophical musing, but a guiding principle behind the habit of reflection. It's an invitation to look inward, to examine our thoughts, emotions, actions, and decisions to gain deeper self-understanding. The ancient philosopher Socrates once proclaimed, an unexamined life is not worth living. It's a bold statement, isn't it? But what if there's a profound truth to it? When we pause to reflect, we're taking the time to evaluate our lives, to identify our strengths and areas for growth. We're assessing the paths we've walked, the choices we've made, and the lessons we've learned. Reflection is not about regret or dwelling in the past. It's about understanding our experiences, learning from them, and using that knowledge to make informed decisions in the future. It's about uncovering our authentic selves, our true desires, and our deepest values. It's about gaining clarity, fostering self-awareness, and cultivating personal growth. Consider your daily interactions, the decisions you've made, the actions you've taken, what worked, what didn't, what patterns can you identify? What can you learn from these experiences? When we reflect on these aspects of our lives, we can gain a greater understanding of ourselves and in turn, a greater ability to navigate the world around us. And it's not just about the big stuff. 
Reflecting on the small everyday things can be just as enlightening. How did you react when you were stuck in traffic? What did you feel when you saw a beautiful sunset? These seemingly insignificant moments can reveal profound truths about our attitudes, our reactions, and our perspectives. So, how do we cultivate this habit of reflection? It can be as simple as setting aside a few moments each day, perhaps just before bed, to quietly contemplate your day. There are no right or wrong answers in reflection, just honest introspection and a desire to understand and learn. So, take a moment each day to reflect on your actions, decisions, and emotions. It's a small step, but one that can lead to profound personal growth and a deeper understanding of your own journey through life. What if I told you that the key to success is never giving up? This might sound cliche, but it's a truth that cannot be overstated. Today, we're talking about the habit of persistence, the ability to keep going despite the challenges and setbacks that inevitably come our way. Persistence is like a muscle. The more you exercise it, the stronger it gets. It's the power that pushes you forward, the driving force that helps you overcome obstacles and reach your goals. But like any habit, it requires practice, patience, and, well, persistence. Now let's take a look at a classic example of the power of persistence. Meet Thomas Edison. Yes, the same Thomas Edison who invented the light bulb. But did you know that before he successfully invented the light bulb, he experienced failure after failure? In fact, he famously said, I have not failed. I've just found 10,000 ways that won't work. Imagine that, 10,000 attempts. But Edison didn't see these as failures. Instead, he viewed them as stepping stones towards his ultimate goal. Each unsuccessful attempt was a lesson learned, a path eliminated, bringing him one step closer to his destination. Edison's story is a testament to the power of persistence. He faced obstacles, he experienced setbacks, but he never gave up. Persistence is not about stubbornly sticking to a failing plan. It's about learning, adapting, and continuing to move forward. It's about having the courage to face failure and the determination to keep trying. It's about understanding that success often comes to those who are willing to work tirelessly towards their goals, those who are not deterred by the bumps along the road. So as we journey towards success, let us cultivate the habit of persistence. Let us learn from our failures, let us adapt, let us keep moving forward. Because in the end, it's not about never failing. It's about getting up every time we fall. Remember, as Edison himself demonstrated, success is not about never failing, but about getting up every time you fall. So, are you ready to embark on your journey of success? As we've journeyed through the power of habits, the early morning embrace, the magic of reading, the art of listening, the habit of reflection, and the power of persistence, we've painted a roadmap to success. Each habit, a stepping stone, leading to a destination where dreams are realized and goals achieved. Let's take a moment to revisit these habits. Harness the power of habits, those daily actions that shape our lives. Embrace the early morning, a time of tranquility and productivity, a haven for the mind to strategize and plan. Unlock the magic of reading, a portal to knowledge and wisdom, a treasure trove of insights waiting to be discovered. Master the art of listening, a skill that fosters empathy and understanding, a bridge that connects hearts and minds. Cultivate the habit of reflection, a time for introspection and self-awareness, a mirror that reveals your true self. And finally, embrace the power of persistence, the grit and determination that turns obstacles into opportunities the fuel that drives the engine of success. These habits, when woven together, create a tapestry of success, a guide to a life filled with achievement and fulfillment. But remember, the journey of success isn't a sprint, but a marathon. It's a continuous process, a cycle of learning, growing, and evolving. It's about becoming the best version of yourself day by day, habit by habit. Now it's your turn to embark on this journey. Start implementing these habits in your life. Begin with small steps and watch as they snowball into significant strides towards your success. As Aristotle once said, we are what we repeatedly do. Excellence then is not an act, but a habit. Start cultivating these habits today and watch your life transform. Share this video with someone you think can benefit from it.
And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button for more inspiring content. Remember, your success journey starts now.